Before we jump into today's video, I want to say if you enjoy public land hunting and big whitetails, then you're in the right place. It's all we do here on my channel. I try to upload once, if not twice a week during season. If you could, please give this video a like and hit that big red subscribe button. It really helps my channel out here on YouTube. All right, now with that out of the way, let's jump into today's video. Well, we just left Kansas a couple hours ago. Wrapped up some work with some clients back there. Heading back home to Iowa here. I think the goal for today is we're gonna go and pull a cell cam that I have out on a piece of public. And uh, they quit talking to me a couple weeks back, lost signal. Too early to tell if anything great was on it, but we had a few bucks. Past that, I actually have the time off today to really get out and and do my first real velvet sit of the season. So we're on some new ground this season. I think uh, we're gonna go to a couple fields that I, I believe are gonna be pretty well, pretty good. And the goal is to get a couple decent bucks on camera. And you never know, it's Iowa. We might find a giant tonight. So I'm excited. We're gonna get out, we're gonna see what we find. Let's see what happens. Well, that's really unfortunate. Looks like the camera that quit sending me a signal quit because somebody took it. That is a first for Iowa. I've never had somebody take anything of mine out here on public land. And I pretty well secure my stuff, but I had the camera on that tree right there about eight feet up locked to the tree I guess sometimes that's what you got to deal with with public land kind of unfortunate Well, it's about that time, coming up on, oh, about 5.30. We had about a half hour drive to the area we're gonna drive around in, in velvet film tonight. So, cross our fingers, we come across to a good buck tonight. I figured we'd wrap things up here while it's getting dark. We only got about, about 10 minutes left of light. All in all, it was a it was a pretty okay day for velvet filming. We had a bunch of 100, 100, maybe 20 inch bucks on camera. I'm not exactly sure what that one at the crossroads was. Uh, could have been pushing a little more, but definitely should uh, should be a little more developed by now. It looked looked very underdeveloped, uh, but still nubbing, so you never know. Besides that, I think today was a great day. I did a little scouting off camera, dropped some pins in a couple places. Not quite sure what those bucks were way out in the field. Um, I mean, it was just too far, six, 700 yards, even with the zoom on the camera. So I'm gonna throw those up on the TV when I get home and maybe something good is out there. If not, uh, you guys will know. Uh, but either way, it was a, it was a great day. Um, just getting out here and, and getting back to velvet filming and we're gonna start hitting it hard and I would film in a little more every every single day here and even though this spot didn't exactly pan out we might come back again but I got a 
few other spots uh, up my sleeve per se that I think are, are gonna pan out pretty well and we get some good bucks on camera. Other than that, uh, I'm gonna throw up some images of a couple bucks my buddy Tyler, about two hours away from here in a spot I hunted last year. He happened to be going by a field and snapped a couple pictures of two great bucks. Uh, one, one looks like a buck I know from last year. He did develop the drop tine and the other buck it looks like about 17 points. Um, he's they're both pushing above 150, maybe maybe over to that 170 mark. We'll we'll see. But uh, either way, all in all, great day in Iowa again, and glad to be back at it.